This thing's uh, called Poppin' Beads, and I welded this. It's got a little end of a uh, old crowbar on there, and it's a square into a round and a solid shaft. So that's what that looks like. It's like a pounder. It's supposed to pop this bead off. I made it for it. Today I'm actually gonna try it. So here's the bead. Dry, just pulled it off. It's still intact. I usually use WD-40, it's my favorite, but all I have is this SC-1. It's like a polisher cleaner, but it's pretty uh, slippery. What I like. Huh, it worked. It definitely got in there. So if you've never changed a motorcycle tire before, don't let it intimidate you that bad. As long as you break the bead, street bike tires are actually, or tubeless tires are easier to change than a tube tire. All right, so here's the tool that I used. If anybody's wanting to make this tool so you can pop your own beads, I'm gonna give you a couple measurements and kind of what it looks like so you can uh, make your own if you want to. This piece that was looks like a crowbar is about four and a half inches and it's got that bend. And then this right here is uh, an inch and a half square. And the inch and a half square piece is 26 inches long. And let me flip around here. And the round piece of pipe is an inch and five eighths outer diameter, and it's about 11 and a quarter inches long, and it has a flat piece welded on the top of that square. So when this hammer goes up and down, it will hit that. So then there's the handle. I just cut it out of the same piece of pipe. And then I welded this smaller diameter solid handle on. So the handle is about seven and a half inches long. And then the little tapping piece right here, which you actually don't even need that, but it's on there. Um, this piece, when I pull it out, let's see what it is. So that's the hammering action. And the hammering piece is about 16 inches long. And that's only about 11 and a half. So when it goes in here, um, you don't slam your fingers. Like if you, if you this could pinch, you'd probably cut your finger and pinch it really bad. If I were gonna make this again though, I, I do wanna give you a little bit of uh, advice I would do differently. I would make this piece the uh, piece that's, what was that, 11 inches long, I would probably go at least six more, maybe even longer, just so you don't pull this piece out. And it will also make it a little bit heavier too, but it has a good slide and hammer action, as you saw. Um, and if anything else, I was thinking about linking like a small chain right here and finding out how far it went up so it would, wouldn't come out and maybe leaving it in there like an inch and then attaching a small chain from here to here that way you can't extend it out and like miss like a wall. Uh, but otherwise, that's the popping bead bar. Looks like I welded a quarter on the end of here for a cap. Um, and that's the bar and that's what you do with it. So if you end up wanting to make one of these at home and pop your own beads off, great tool. So that'd give you the specs on that in case you wanted to go to your recycler or get some extra metal. And this piece right here fits inside of an inch and five eighths. This is a piece of fence pipe. It's an inch and five eighths outer diameter. But um, solid metal bar I bought at the recyclers and it looks like it's about I'm gonna call that an inch and I want to say it's right under maybe like three-eighths it's about an inch and three-eighths uh, and it slides really nice right in there so anyway 
That's it. What I'm gonna do in addition to this is I'm gonna put a crossbar on here and put a stepper on it so I can put extra pressure on this while I uh, pound it down because I think a little bit of pre-force would work well, but I'm just gonna get pretty nice to know how to change your own tire. Uh, you don't have to go and ask anybody else besides saving money. Uh, you get to do it yourself and ride it home and then go ride. So I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one.